Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Valkyria Chronicles. Now, cur currently, we have an emergency on our hands. Princess Cordelia has been kidnapped by Federation operatives. Boy, and on my day off, headed for port. We have to get there. Stop the vehicle. I assume without blowing it up. Disable the engine. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Federation forces wearing Galleon uniforms. Oh, man. And it's dark. This is a recipe for disaster. They're absolutely just going to put like... Oh, that's funny. <laughs> so who's here? Okay. You go here because you can catch up. Wait, no, can't use you. Hmm. Who, who do you like? My kind of lady. Um... It's six? God damn. Your mission is to rescue. Um, I guess having They can't get to the harbor. Getting we position on here. the princess seven, move out. is probably gonna be super essential here. We might be able to rush the tank. They wouldn't dare kill her because then we would just start war on them. Oh, and they have their own map. That's funny. To the harbor, full steam. The ship's Full waiting steam? there to take us Is that a turn of phrase, or does your car run on steam power? Apologies for the cramped quarters, your highness. We'll have you comfortable soon. You're so slimy. <sighs> Lieutenant, it's likely the ambassador has the princess with him inside that armored vehicle. Use firearms to stop it with minimal force, then recover the princess. Thing? Tank shells, anti- Okay, yeah, we heard this part. I guess they want to make Lux. double damn sure. Yeah. Sound. All right. They got blue uniforms too. That's a shame. I wonder if they wanted an opportunity to use the um like randos in a in a fight, you know? So you're like here-ish. My turn, okay? Enemy sighted. You for real, dude? I feel like I feel like you really need to check yourself Ow. as soon as your job, you, you know, demands that you start shooting citizens of a country you're not a part of in that country, you know? Italian APC, huh? But that's her. Entering combat. That's definitely her. Hmm? Welks, do you see the vehicle's headlights? Oh. You're right. We can use those lights to tell its position and orientation. One more. All right. I just made myself a little bigger here. Remember to look at your surroundings. Okay. So we can't go this way, huh? Enemy unit sighted. Be careful, soldiers. What? Are there any weak spots in the I swear. Room? I've like Austin Powers myself. You are you well, I guess that's as far as I'm getting. Okay. The wheels, maybe? Nothing personal. Oh, gotta hit him. 
Did you say nothing personal when she shot? That's funny. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I'm on it. So, uh, I mistakenly assumed that... You're gonna get shot. I read the map upside down, basically. Um, so I put our fastest soldier up at the very top. And our slowest ones at the bottom. Goodness knows. Yes. So that's an APC. Wow. My rifle. Where's Yeah, this is going bad. All right, so I basically just shot at the APC and murdered the princess just so I could get out of here quicker. Because you know what? Don't get pinned down. I really right. am rather quite annoyed with... Again, like I've said this before, but I am really annoyed with the way that this game does not let you load, does not let you save. Get ready to die, imps. It's very annoying to me, you know? <laughs> for me. Don't oh yeah. Next. Makes me happy. Maybe I should just go back in his car. Ready to die, imps. Um. But also, on topic. Easy targets. Wow, that's a. Uh, less good than I thought. That's okay. Um, what do we got? Two left? Mm. This is this one's gonna be hard. Here we go. Yes, Alicia. And Nisara. I know. You don't need to remind me. Okay. Right away open by four. So yeah, like, the, the APC literally the, came out right in front of me Don't here. And I just, I just mortared it and blew up in one. It was honestly kind of funny. In, like, a sick way, you know? Golly and Tank, sighted ahead, sir. It's blocking the road completely. <laughs> Clever little monkeys. Very well. We'll take another route. I got too far up there. That's too bad. That tank. That's a militia model. Too cocky. Damn them. My only regret is that I couldn't slaughter more Imperials. Oh, I guess that her Imperial hater thing. Damn you. Right. All right, we're going to reset again. All right, I'm back up. I should have realized that because we're, like, very explicitly not fighting feds. Oh, yeah, I, I jumped Largo over here because I feel like it might not get over there without, you know, a lot extra help. So, like, I might not have to worry about down there. Um, Because he has an extra command point, so I was like, I want that. Good job. Um, and then I'll leave her over here. That's what you get. I hopefully haven't Target snuck the tank out long enough, but I'm not going to stick my nose in too far. I'm going to try to avoid getting in too deep, you know? Let's do this thing. 
I wish I could know where all the people are. Try to get in front of it. Okay. Oh yes, by the way. I do know that there is a save load here, but that's not what I want. Like, I want the ability to just start a battle over, you know? My turn, okay. Because in order to start a battle over, you literally need to, like, lose it. There's there's nothing for it besides that. You need to lose the battle. And, and then you need to go through all of the song and dance to restart it. And that's really, really annoying. So yes, I am aware that there is a reset, but it's not a particularly good one. You know? It honestly kind of sucks. The fact that I can't just say, let me restart the battle right now is kind of lame. I don't know if it is, it's if it's if it's if it's if it's I don't know if it's an intentional thing either. Because the way that they um like make you reset means that they have to, like, they intentionally... I mean, I don't know that it's intentional. But presumably, it's like a thing where, like, okay, well, if the player loses this, then they should be penalized, potentially. So what if we make it so, you know, it takes a while for them to get over it, you know? Really, dude? Are you for real? You're through. You are through. You just signed your death warrant. Also, um, I just want to call it now just for the sake of calling it. But I feel like the fact that they are like, you can't see what people's faces and names look like because it's really dark and it's shadowy and stuff. And then they're also like, oh yeah, some of them were in Galleon uniforms and they're in incognito, they're in disguise. Here we go. I feel like that that that's going to lead to like a thing where we accidentally like shoot an ally an maybe fall the god damn it no that explo again like it's too it's i know i have a gun on here i forgot that that'll happen Try four. All right, we're back. The restart from the checkpoint is a little better, but like, I see an enemy. restarting is still a little painful. What? That's not. I can't. No. Why is that a problem? But yeah, the restart from like a get. game over is a little better, but like, it's still pretty annoying to try to get where you're needing to go. You know, like. Uh, I don't, I, I just don't know why it's better. I would really prefer, like, a lot of different options here, you know? Moving out. So maybe I should scout as her. Like, her name would imply, you know? Target locked. Because, like, allegedly there's guys scattered around here, but I haven't really seen hide or hair of them. Hmm. Why don't I solve a few more problems while I'm over here? Ready for my close -up. Melee skills, you say? You're yeah, I wonder if this is an excuse to, like, That's use the, get. uh, the, like, nice Galleon uniforms. I see an enemy. It might be, honestly. Leave it all to me. Okay. So yeah, I want to go around as him and try to sneak behind it so when it goes by, I can shoot it in the butt. I've managed to codify what exactly my problems are. I think that there's just a lot in this game that's a little player unfriendly, you know? Like, they didn't, get, they didn't give it enough forethought to be like, oh yeah, this feels like crap to play. There was this problem with the development of uh, a game called Catherine, which I love dearly. Yeah! 
where everyone involved with the development of Catherine got really, really, really good at Catherine. Uh, and why was this a problem? Well, because when people involved on a game work on it, they get good at it. And so what happened was, okay, this is the machine gun. That's all. Can I bump you? No. I get invisible wall. That's okay. I'm ready to chase. To give chase, I should say. Let's do this thing. Um, so yeah, they were all really good at Catherine, which is like, fine, sure, whatever. The problem is, is that they all got so good at Catherine that they could all essentially speedrun the game. I'll take care this of is it. a problem when normal people need to be able to play the video game. God damn it. I'll park him here. Um, so yeah, it just led to a really big problem where like people are playing it, but the problem is, is that they can't get far. Like playtesters who are just picking it up can't get far because the people who are setting the difficulty are too good. Keep an eye on your equipment. And it was this really weird problem where like, medic, medic. I'm going to do this. Not that hurt. Hurry it up. Oh shit. Oh, why did I end? I could have saved myself. Armored. You don't say, Alicia. Hopefully it'll focus on um uh the tank that's right there. A little bit more uh, obvious and prudent for them. Oh, interesting. Not what I would have thought, but I'll take it. Fair play. Alicia can stay here and just park up. Park up. Um. Come on, shoot him. Oh, that's all you wanted to do? But yeah, so Catherine, in fact, even has a two-player mode. Um. <laughs> oh, mother. You don't get to be my age without learning to plan for contingencies. Damn. Keep reinforcements, huh? Okay. Here we go. Enemy sighted. They're trying to get this princess killed. See how they sent me back to uh, the instant kill bullets? That's it? Damn. Put yourself in the enemy's blind spot. I got it. Continue firing. So in Catherine's like play uh, like playthroughs, like the people the setting the game's difficulty were also developing it. And so they got really good at it, and that meant that they couldn't like trust themselves because they were all really good and they were like oh yeah because I've speedrun this I can do this. do this pretty easily so this is an adequate thing to ask of a player who just started playing you know and I wonder if that was the case here ain't no stopping me we're like in in the process of attempting to balance this game for like people who enjoy strategy games and are good at them they ended up having a lot of stuff where they had people who are not good at strategy games or don't enjoy them It would be pretty cool if I could get the ability to... Child of nature? I'm going to mow you down just because you're going to be a problem. That was pretty vengeful. Um, and because I don't actually think that I could shoot past... Well, maybe I could. Eating the Edelweiss. But you know what? I took care of the scout. That's a problem that I don't need to deal with now. I want to sandwich Edie between both of these guys. Get ready. Let me in on that. Nice. That's what you like to see. I like that. I like Everyone that a lot. Just leave it all to me, folks. 
What a dumbbell move to not have Alicia heal herself. She had her move ready and everything. The burst of fire isn't really that bad. Let's pepper it on. Okay, so this guy's over there. I imagine dude just waiting at the wings. That makes sense. Where exactly is this? Is is south of the bottom of the map? Because to my knowledge, Gallia has water on the north, or south of the top of the map. Because to my knowledge, Gallia has water bordering the north and west sides of the country, loosely. Um, because they're just up in that little corner of Europe. Okay. Entering combat. Hostile sighted. Oh, I bet you have. Ho I bet you have sighted some hostiles. Buenos dias, fuck boy. Now. You get the littlest burst off of that. Okay. If I can get all four of them up here, the Edelweiss, Edie, and. All like firing on this. Oh, you can also use the D-pad to nudge yourself when you're walking. Yes, the power. It's getting pretty good, guys. I hope that this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Because yeah, again, one of my biggest problems when recording Valkyria Chronicles is like. It's not just that I have to record the game. It's that I also have to record the, like, minutes of failed attempts, you know? Oh, Hasty. I got more turns. So, yeah, I, I retried a bunch of times because it was super hard, but, like... Well, I say because it's super hard. Once I fucked up. Once I accidentally screwed up. Um... But yeah, like, it's a really short mission that is just really front-loaded with difficulty. But we don't get more money for saving the princess. <laughs> I didn't even see other, like, folk aliens. Your Highness, are you alright? I am unharmed. Emotionally, though, same as usual. Oh, good. Being princess ain't all fancy dinners, huh? Gotta be hard carrying a whole country. Can it, Rosie? That's the princess <laughs> of Gallia you're talking to. Look, on the battlefield, you're just another no, civilian. It's quite all right. She speaks the truth. As scion of the Valkyrer, it is my fate to live and die. I hate the extra R in there. Being. I would be okay with Valkyru or Valkyur. Are you sure but Valkyrie is a little highness? ugly of a word. Maybe it flows better in Japanese. What? If you label the status quo fate, you can run from the responsibility of changing it. Good quote. You too, Welkin. Have a little respect here. And again, something that's very in character for Welkin to say, to shoot Every his mouth off. Thing in this world struggles to live and pass life on to a new Honestly, generation. I kind of ended up with I've I've ended up with a similar worldview too, Welkin, of like use all the instincts and humans animal are animals, they but they should understand and remember that, but not longer. in the sense of like, you know, attack, kill, you're a beast, but like animals have functions, you know, they do stuff. That powerful animal will to live is like, humans aren't above nature, they exist within it. It's why, like, I don't agree with morally choosing to become a vegan or vegetarian. 
obviously do Your as you will if you have any dietary restrictions, Valkyrie, medically speaking, but carry a burden. like, I, I don't really see the purpose in, in not using your incisors, you know? The old ways and traditions you follow may be important to uphold. But I hope that you won't throw away the will to live your own life. Shooting his mouth off again. Of them. That's enough. Well, also because most like most vegans are dickheads, but not for the reasons people think. They're like cuz they do they are up in your face about it, but also they're like eating child slave products in in the Perhaps idea that they are saving said. like an animal, and you know? I have been running from responsibility unknowingly. Like way too many vegans will just get their stuff unsustainably, happily, but they're like, "Oh, I'm part of the solution." Cuz I'm not eating meat and like it is indeed There's no moral right thing about eating meat. It's why wolves aren't evil. The Valkyrian bloodline. You know, sharks aren't evil. They're just sharks. And people aren't evil for eating meat. They just naturally intake protein. Y Your Highness. I am most envious of your ability to speak your mind so frankly. But time enough I wonder what Valkyria Chronicles 2 is going to be about. By my own will. To my knowledge, it's not about Welkin. He's like... Thank just a, he's words, like mentioned because he's like legendary, but like you just play a different squad. Not at all. What was that? <gasps> wow, even a princess's gut will wake up and say hi when it's empty. <laughs> I, I am. Rumbling bellies are a clever bit of animal wisdom all humans share. Is she gonna get a chance to eat some military rationing? Alicia, have we got? That's pretty to sweet. Eat? You bet. I brought some of the cinnamon rolls I baked this morning. To combat? <laughs> Here you are, Your Highness. Can't be that good, right? If they're built on military rationing. Thank you kindly. Then again, Gallia is like Switzerland, but it also has a lot of a little bit of French elements, you know? It looks way more like a bun, but whatever. I have not had such bread before. But, but like, quite agreeable. French military rations are notorious for being like surprisingly <laughs> delicious glad. and edible. Because most people think of military rations and it's like heart attack. And like, they have more stuff in there. Right. Like, they give you like pudding Let's or like a little meat. Back to the but like, it's not that much better than like just dry biscuit and, and dry bread, you know? It still is pretty mediocre. But they do try to give you a little bit of dessert because like, you know, dessert helps morale. In the real world too. Um, But yeah, it's a thing where like, the French are notorious for having like and delicious so rations. Cordelia returned. I don't See, know if that's something that I just like know from Metal Gear Solid, seven. but I believe it. Its leader, Welkin Gunther, was celebrated as rescuer to the nation's sovereign and awarded the prestigious Gallian Medal of Honor. The fact that Gunther is now doing more like legitimately prestigious things is cool. Because, like, yes, he's the protagonist and he's doing cool stuff war-wise, but, like, he hasn't done that much exceptionally war-wise besides, like, just blocking the, the river. But now, like, he's also rescued the princess. Sir. I still think that it is a little lame that he is funding the book For about himself. In valor and deed, you are hereby awarded this honor. Your Highness, also, thus far, they are not pushing an Oscar and Ray thing out. on uh, Gunther here, but... She is a little bit like Ray, and Alicia is a little bit like Asuka. Congratulations, Lieutenant Gunther. Obviously, there have been other, you know, combinations of this duo, but when most people speak of anime and, like, you have a cold girl and, like, a tsundere girl in front of everyone, word. To understand my responsibility as sovereign and as a single human life. Your Highness. Oh, and know that one tradition already lies sundered by my will. Sundered I by my will? <laughs> cinnamon rolls to my daily breakfast. Nice. Alicia will be happy to hear it. Lieutenant Gunther, you forget yourself. Dude, she's talking to me. She started this conversation. Sir, my apologies. Yeah, like, Welkin's apologizing to this guy because he's making a big With stink about this, it. this, today's ceremonies are ended. The princess clearly doesn't care. I still don't trust this guy. His name is Borg, for God's sakes. Lieutenant Gunther, I hope your allegiance to Gallia stands firm evermore. Yes, princess. 
Lieutenant Gunther. I am sorry. There is something more I have not told you. Interesting. Please, be safe. I assume the footsteps indicate that he's leaving. Fears of a Patriot. That's really cool. <laughs> but yeah, I do actually like Gunther's worldview. I think that he's still shooting his mouth off the way that he's putting things and just... Welcome. I'm coming in. Like, he's, he's a rushdown in conversation. He closes distance sure, and greets open. people face-to-face -face in conversation. Directly. That's not typically how I speak things. Ooh, is that it? Not bad, man. You sure made a name for yourself this time. It was pure luck I was there. Yeah. But so it wasn't pure luck, headlines? though. It was, was it was your previous fantastic actions that helped you. Like the reason that that's so interesting. Sorry, I have to think to, I have to think about this for a sec. Welkin's amazing actions and plans and ideas as commander get him invited to this dinner party. Because of the dinner party, enemies move and make some evil moves on guys. But because Welkin was invited to this dinner party, that may or may not have even been thrown because of his amazing actions. Because, like, the Empire would have had that base set up. The Empire would have claimed the desert. The Empire would be all around Gallia if not for Welkin's actions. I know that there are more people, but he's doing a lot of work. But, like, he is there because of his own work and not because of luck. And then he saves her again because of his talent and luck. Or not luck. Because of his talent and effort. And he chalks that up to luck too. Like he says, it was I was just lucky I was there. Like, no, you weren't. They like being at that party was supposed to be the reward for all the other cool stuff you've done. That reporter tells me Borg's the one pressuring the media into suppressing it. Mm. But why suppress it? If word got out about what happened, Gali's relationship with the Federation would suffer. But our relationship is non-existent. They attempted to ransom We've our own head of state. Full fending off the Empire. We can't afford a war on two fronts. That's some real politics stuff, actually. So he has the whole thing covered up. I'll bet he goes on acting like it never happened. Wow. You could do the opposite, though. You could say, hey, we foiled your scheme. Give us more men and guns. And fuck you. Welcome, this hurts. It's painfully obvious how shaky Gallia's standing is. Well, that's because you're such a tiny country with no allegiances in the middle of two other huge allegiances. I know the world's history is an endless chain of big fish eating little fish. Both of us know the weak bow to the strong. It's history and it's nature. Yeah. A minor nation like ours is an easy mark, even before you add the rift within our army. Yeah, because now not only are we having the militia and the real army... We're also having the head of states arguing with Welcome. each other. No offense, but I hope nature's wrong this time. I don't know what to tell you, Faldio. This has to be one of the most demoralized, like, armed forces ever. Like, we're such a delicious target to hit. And such an easy target to hit. And so our only hope is just... Well, I hope that all of the stuff that make us awesome to invade will make us hard to... Chapter 10. Like, Liberation all the stuff that makes us awesome to invade, like our extra guns and Ragnite, will make it harder for everyone else to get in. But, like, the reason that they can't just get in is also the reason that they want to get in. Decorations. They earn you decorations. Oh. She's now just an NPC who just gives us the achievements in game. The audience hall. Yep, there's the achievement for it. That's funny that we're still getting new mechanics and tutorializing them. I like that. I'm going to look at them on screen just because. Absolute. Decorations. Pose and service medal. Nagiara Service Medal, Gelandiao, Daoyu, Daayo, Daayo, Gelandiao, Silver Arms, Bronze Arms, Lance of Gallia, Savior, Golden Arms, Splintered Horn, like a Unicorn Horn, that's right, Crimson Heart, 
Golden Wings, Excellence, Excellence, Wings of Solidarity, Golden Wings and Wings of Solidarity, Galleon Front Commemorative, Order of the Holy Shield, Excellence in Leadership, Armament and Technology, Ryan Grease, Crest of Honor, Order of the Holy Lance. Okay, cool. And then probably at headquarters is where she is. Yep, there she is. It's the last one. How have you been, Your Highness? <laughs> I love how it's just so huge and uncarpeted and glassy everywhere that it echoes like crazy. So we already have two places to put money and XP. XP goes into soldiers, but we can also buy additional orders with it. Rarely. And then money goes to buying more equipment and outfitting the tank. But it also goes to buying shit in the writing on the wall. I don't know what that actually does besides percentage completion, but... It wasn't until I saw my what is this going to be? That I realized how special it was. <laughs> you truly are well, my wife got my beard recently, my fiancé. Um... It looks very nice. It's also why I felt more justified not having makeup on in this episode. These past few, in fact. trinkets are the only form we have, but we ask that you wear them proudly. No worries, Cordelia. Yes, ma'am. And thank you, Your Highness. I hear your accomplishments do not end with that knight's bravery, either. The stories of your Yep, done a lot of shit so far. I owe you a great... Lieutenant Welkin Gunther, step forward. In honor oh, have I already earned stuff? Because that's fun. Highness, it's an honor. Okay, this isn't a real theory, but it would be very funny if, like, at the end of the game, Welkin gets shot. But if you unlocked every single award before that, <laughs> if you unlocked every single award before that, like, all of the metals that are just covering his chest like a blanket of steel just take the, hot, take the, take the, take the hit for him, you know? Like, he gets shot, but you get the bad ending if he, if he just gets shot. But if you have all of the metals, then he, he, uh, <laughs> he takes the bullet because there's just so much shit on him. So, interesting. I wonder if those do anything. Like, it'd be very cool if they were, like, rings. Dark Souls-like, you know? I think I'm actually down a couple. Like, I intentionally didn't add a few more people into my guys. Oh, and there have been some. Yeah, new recruits. I wanted to wait for new recruits. Tedus now, I've seen you before. Lovely Leonard. Oh, he likes Jan. Hmm. And Nancy. Juno is new. And she likes Welkin and Aisha. That looks like likes Vice. It looks like they're just like dripping us one of each type in. Loosely one. Lanzat. Claudia Man. One thing that they don't do um, in a lot of games like this is that they never have people with the same names just because they want to avoid that very, very staunchly. But like... Think about how many people in Britain are named Tom, you know? Think about how many people in the United States are named Steve, you know? It would be very funny if, like, even in a game like this, even in a game with so many characters and so much stuff, we would, like, we would just have, like, nine, like, Welkins, you know? Elite Officer... Wounded in the line of duty. So just getting shot, I guess. Lance of Galia. Cool. Yes, I do want episodes next. Um, so I guess we can start off fresh. Who are you? You look cool. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess we can start off fresh in um, chapter 10 next time. But yeah, I've been Alfred. This has been Valkyria Chronicles. I hope you've all been having a good time. I I certainly have. This game rocks. 
Uh, and like, I, they keep adding more new cool stuff and it keeps getting cooler and better. I love it. This is a really cool game. Again, I highly recommend it. And like, considering the release dates on the latest ones, you can probably get this on PS4. So if you don't have a, a console to play this on, like, it's a good pick. Sega probably has their hands full with dealing with all the Sonic bullshit that they've got going on because they're dealing with the Sonic movie and they're trying to make a new Sonic game, Sonic Frontier. So I don't know if a company, even a company that big, is going to be able to focus on getting a port for Valkyria Chronicles 2 out. I don't know if there is one already, but... Uh, hey, maybe let's all tweet at Sega and say, hey, Sega, port the rest of the Valkyria Chronicles, huh? Again, I don't actually know that they haven't, but... Uh, I've been Alfred. This has been Valkyria Chronicles. I hope you all have a good day. Thank you for coming. Bye.